My hair definitely grew. Okay guys, so I just took my hair out and this is what it looks like. So I'm ready to wash. I'm about to show y'all the products that I'm gonna be using. So I did go to the dollar store a couple of minutes ago and I'm about to show y'all the stuff that I got first before we get into it. So I just got me some two different conditioners and two different shampoos. So I got the, yay. So I got the Garnier. I don't know if that's how you say it, but the Whole Blends Garnier conditioner. And then I have the Whole Blends Garnier shampoo. I hope I'm saying this right, but this is what I'm gonna be using. This right here and I love stuff with honey in it for my hair because honey in my hair is like a good mixture and I love natural hair products and then I have this honey and coconut oil shampoo and I got the conditioner to go with it so that's that so I am going to be trying a different shampoo and conditioner for this video so I'm gonna have to go with these two I feel like I should go with these two so I'm gonna use this for this video and this is also gonna be my first time using this shampoo and conditioner this video is not sponsored by the way so yes I was gonna do like a little shower routine with my hair but I don't feel like putting on clothes and getting wet at the same time because that's like weird and then it's cold outside so no we're not doing that so I'm about to just show y'all my wash routine while I'm sitting the fuck down let's jump right in so I'm gonna just take my finger and I don't do my hair in sections, but since I'm sitting down washing my hair, I'm going to have to because I don't want a glunk of water getting on me. So I'm going to just section a piece of my hair. So this is good. And then I'm going to take a scrunchie and like fold this up to get this out the way. Boom. Oh, look at that. Ready for a wash. So I'm going to take the shampoo that I was telling you guys about. And I am definitely going to squeeze it in my hand. And actually, I don't need a lot of shampoo. I need to stop doing that. And we finna rub this in. Take our finger and dig in the scalp. Because that's what the shampoo is really for, like your scalp. And I don't like doing this without water. So it is going to kind of be weird. So I just ran and got me some water because like I said, we are about to make a mess. So much shampoo. So I don't know about y'all, but I definitely like to finger detangle my hair when I'm shampooing, not just when I condition. Cause you definitely need to detangle your hair when you condition your hair, but I like to detangle it when I shampoo too. So I'm gonna take my little brush. I got this from Sheen, if I'm not mistaken, or probably the hair store, but you can definitely find this at your local beauty store, supply store, whatever. So we have gonna brushes out and I only brush my hair when I shampoo when um it's like tangled like it is now so it's only tangled because I had like that beeswax all in my hair so boom so we got it all detangled you can see that some shampoo so now it is easier to apply the shampoo and, you know, conditioner and all of that stuff. Spray some water. All right, so we got this section all shampooed up and we're gonna move on to the next section. So I'm gonna create like a little twist for this section to keep it out the way. Cause like I said, I don't normally do my hair in sections, but My hair definitely grew. Look at that. So I'm gonna detangle this because this is a big piece. Y'all look at my hair. That is so cute. 
and I love how dark my hair is it goes with my skin So I put it in two little ponytails. As y'all can see, this one is really stiff. I hate when my hair be stiff like that, but we finna fix that in a minute. So we're about to do the last little piece, which is up here. So watch this magic. All right, so we got the last little piece up here. So what I'm about to do, I didn't really need to put it in like the little twist, but I did that to kind of separate it and section it. So what I'm about to do is go wash my hair in like the sink. Y'all will not see that, but you will see like the little after part. And then we will put the conditioner on there make sure that it is detangled. So yeah, so I will see you guys just in a quick second. Don't go nowhere. I'm about to rinse this out my head and we're gonna be back, okay? Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after I wash the products out. So it's really curly, really long, how I like it. Alright, so the next thing that I'm about to do is condition my hair with the honey chocolate and coconut oil. I didn't even know it said, oh this one, this one is different, it has chocolate in it. And by the way, this stuff smells so good and it was really cheap, it was like 3 50 350 um for each the shampoo and conditioner and it is by african pride by the way i think i showed it already but still so this water is dripping and it is really cold so i'm about to get to section in my hair first so let me section it all right so i'm gonna take the conditioner Ooh, this smells so good and it don't even smell like chocolate oh it's coming off Bro, this smells so freaking good. I would definitely get this again if it works. I don't think this conditioner, my hair don't feel soft. So let me keep adding more. But when I condition my hair, I need a lot of conditioner. Because a little like this will not work. Let me separate it again. So I can tell, I'm going to just be having to add Buku conditioner. Okay, so y'all know I'm a very honest person. To be honest with you, I don't really like this conditioner. I do, but I don't. Because it doesn't, like, it makes my hair feel wet it doesn't make it feel like no type of moisture is in it with the conditioner like when i use regular conditioner like i think the suave kind or whichever one my mom be buying my hair just always feels healthy this doesn't feel right in my hair so i don't really like the conditioner surprisingly it's very surprisingly because conditioner always makes my hair feel good but this one doesn't so yeah we're definitely not getting this conditioner anymore it smells good, but it doesn't work good, so. So I'm on to the next side. I will see you guys when I finish with this side, so yeah. Okay, so I am back, you guys, and I've been sitting here for like a good 10 minutes on my phone scrolling, um, waiting because on the back of the conditioner, I left it. Um, it says that you have to leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes, and I always leave my conditioner in for a good 5 to 10 minutes, but it's been a good 20 minutes, so, you know, I don't know if I like the conditioner or not. I mean, I do like it, but it feels like it's thin conditioner instead of thick i love thick conditioner and that's definitely not thick conditioner we finna see when i wash this out my hair how this is going to turn out so i'm about to wash my hair guys and yeah so this is what it looks like the conditioner smells really good but let me run my fingers through this conditioner what i mean i can run my fingers through my hair which is good it's kind of poofy, of course, because I don't know, like every time I wash my hair out with conditioner, 
sometimes it poof up but this is what it looks like i do like the shampoo like i said i do like the smell of it as well because it smells really nice but just because it smells good does not mean it worked good so but this is literally everything that i do to my hair i just wash it with like the shampoo then the conditioner and then i just style my hair so i am about to style my hair now but that will be a different video so i'm about to do a top knot bun tutorial so stay tuned for that video i don't know which one will be out first but but i will see you guys in the next video peace